face that this world has forgotten. Hmm. What is up, guys, and of course, welcome back to an episode of Who Was Really Better? And this week, we are looking upon the Soul Grass type status Superior versus Septile, Generation 3 versus Generation 5, which starter here was really better. The reason these two are being compared against one another is because they are actually the top 5 speediest grass types in the game actually till this generation. It's actually kind of bad how slow grass types in general are, and these two yet stands out in being this very, very essence of speed when it comes to grass type. Grass type as a whole is disgustingly famous, or definitely just famous for being overall really bad, yet these two stands out and being relevant to this very day, and it has a lot to do with the speeds here and the things they bring to the table. So it's up to me to, of course, analysis on their typing, though clearly they are the same, their stats, their move pool, and ability to see which one of these two are really better. Now, starting off with the grass typing itself, I really need to get it out of the way. The reason I say it's such a bad typing is because grass type, while defensively interesting, has a lot of issues in born with them. Grass type does resist a lot of things, electric grass, ground and water. Being resistant to both electric ground and water definitely stands out here being a very, very common offensive threat that could capitalize on and definitely defensively check with. So it's really good to have those defensive capabilities on bond to him. Sadly, as a soul grass type, you have a lot of weaknesses to actually deal with. We have weakness to bug, fire, flying, ice, and poison. Primarily poison and ice is the one that stands out there. Uh, mainly because grass type in general tend to have a poison combination bond to be able to secondary stab. Same thing with electric types. They do tend to have an ice type. Uh, offensive stand to be able or attack to be able to check possible grass type. So this is one of the worst types combination in the game. I definitely would compare it to the ice typing actually. It does have pretty much the same amount of issues though it does have more resistances. It has also as many weaknesses. So as a whole I will say the grass type is probably one of the worst if not the worst typing in the game. But with that said these two as I stated here do not care about these issues. Because a typing can only hold you back that much, and Septile and Superior have solved something that I do believe a lot of grass types have not. They have speed and they have offensive pools to be able to capitalize on their possible issues. So going over the stats here, Septile has 70 versus 75 against Superior. Very close bulk here to be honest. When it comes to offensive stats, 85 versus 75, still here. It's very clear that, you know, they're similar in their offensive capabilities while Sceptile stands out a little bit more. And then we come to the peaking here. Sceptile, not defensively capable. 65 of his base defense is very, very, very poor. And Superior actually stands out there 95, which is a whole lot. But then again, it does change yet again. Sceptile's special attack is pretty ridiculous at 105. And being compared to the special attack of Superior being just 75. So we've got 30 more base in its attack, which definitely seems like a big shift between defensive capabilities and special attacks. So this is where the big, big things are shining. And then we come to special defense. Special defense here, Septile has a very, very passable special defense of 85, but we have, of course, 95 superiors. It's very, very clear that superior here is to bulk your one. That said, when it comes to speed here, we have 120 on Septile and Superior has 113. It should be said, though, there are not many Pokemons beyond 110 that are in the meta, so superior speed still very, very, very strong. It's actually alone 113, it does beat the 111 to 112. So 113, very strong speed tier, though Septile 120, definitely a stronger speed tier. But as a whole, they're both extremely, extremely speedy. And as I stated here, being a bad typing doesn't mean anything if you don't get hit. And this is what they solve. It's a very rare trait of a grass type, and this is why they are so ferocious and so dangerous to be dealing with. But as you guys know, they also have abilities, so let's talk about those. So first, let's talk about Overgrow, as the boat share it. Overgrow basically means that when you're below one third of your health, your stab, which is of course grass, will do 50% more damage. And this could be very, very scary for both of these Pokemons. Uh, but that is not what makes them good though. Um, going through with the horse Sceptile, who got his hidden ability first, being in Unburden. This is a very good ability, boosting your already ridiculous 120 speed to actually be in double. And the reason this is so good on Sceptile is because it does pack a move that calls Leaf Storm. This, this is both relevant for both of these Pokemon to be able to capitalize on Leaf Storm. 
but Lead Storm and White Herb is a combination that Septile can be capitalizing on. And the reason it's such a good thing is because you do activate your item, which means that Unburner will double your speed. This could go with a lot of other things too. You can go for Substitute, Citrus Berry combination, and this would be just fine. Anything that does, of course, activate your very hell. Even Terrain could actually be capitalized on with Septile in mind. And this is a very, very scary combination. But with that said, Contrary, of course, was introduced in Generation 6 for Superior. Superior became one from one of the kind of worst grass types in the game, mainly because it didn't hold out the grass typing and didn't have such a vast move pool. It went from kind of bad to really freaking good. Leaf Storm basically means here that you, instead of lowering your special attack by two, you're not getting raised by two, which means you can spam Leaf Storm pretty directly and become a ferocious threat after one turn. While you are, of course, a bit of, have a low special attack as a whole, that special attack does raise really fast and become really, really, really strong, very, very fast. And as a whole, there did, did raise superior enough to become in the OU family. And that has pretty much been unseen, actually. It's a very, very strong race in its viability. It also is a very reason these two are being comparable in the first place, because Superior actually now are a very, very good Pokemon. While Sceptile being extremely relevant, this ability is a very strong strength for Superior. But, as you guys know, ability and stats are only as good as the move pool it makes it out to be. So with that in mind, let's talk about their move pool and what they share, but also, of course, what difference between them. But as stated, let's talk about what they share first. Now, first and foremost, they both, of course, get the Leaf Storm, as I already mentioned. They also get Giga Drain and they get Leaf Blade. So it's very clear already that they have really strong stats, probably the strongest in the game, actually. They even get a Solar Beam. Do not use that, but you get that if you want to capitalize on it. But they also get an especially cool here, Dragon Pulse, which is a very, very good attack for both of them because it's a strong filler move for a really, really decent special attack on both of these Pokemon and definitely something that could be capitalized on. Now, outside of that, they have a few filler moves that are worth mentioning. For example, on the setup side, they both get Sword Stance, which is good for both of these Pokemon because they have a physical move to be capitalized on. Outside of that, they both can actually lead sub. Um, what that is basically is that they're speed enough to pull a lead seed sub stall which is a very very interesting combination to be capitalized on because they're offensively active but it's speed enough to not actually attacking because they can sub and just keep let the turns go as and go and this could be very dangerous in combination with toxic spike or anything that could stall because they're speed enough as i stated here to actually protect themselves really well and of course last but not least the bogus synthesis if you want to capitalize on that a great recovery move um, Serpier so has a bit more use out of this move because clearly it, it's more defensively here. But at the same time, Sceptile can capitalize on it. If you want to use something like that to come with Life Orb, you're able to do just so. Now with that said, let's of course look upon what are different between these two because there are a few factors here that makes these Pokemon really interesting. Now we're going to start off with Superior here because Superior is a very strange being indeed. Uh, first and foremost, of course, it gets Coil. And Coil is a very, very cool set up mode to be capitalizing on boosting of course your accuracy and your attack and defense and this is something that it can do very 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 well because it actually has a physical move pool and a physical move pool that i would say are relevant if you don't want to go for of course the easier set here uh, it does get access to aqua tail and iron tail both these moves really really is pushing in the finals of work we also have filler moves in knockoff and outrage and both, this could definitely be capitalized on, and we also have C Snatch, you want to capitalize on that. And I guess the funnier moves here on the supporting side is that it does get Glare. Glare is a very, very good move in this generation, because it's the only move left now around outside of, of course, Thunder Wave that actually does guarantee paralyzation. And being, of course, that Thunder Wave was nerfed this generation, it's very clear that Glare could be really, really well capitalized on. Outside of that, we actually have Mirror Coat, which is something that it could take a hit and retaliate. And being naturally bolted with Synthesis means that it could use this really well and focus with Coil in mind to actually bulk itself up. We also have Mean Loops with Lockdown situations. So Superior here does have a strong around niches. It even goes so far and say that, you know, it has Pursuits. And this could be even further more dangerous when you're setting up Coils and now can actually pursue Trap. Yeah! Things get dangerous kind of fast, and it's very clear that Superior has a relevant move outside of, of course, its Leaf Storm capabilities. So, yeah, Superior probably has a few forgotten moves here, because outside of, of course, that Leaf Storm was introduced, together with Contrary, 
It really has been forgotten what it can do outside of just spamming Leaf Storm. And it does have a few things up its sleeve that could be extremely dangerous if not in the meta, then at least in the league concept. So Superior really stands, well, superior here. So we have one guy left. The Sceptile, the Gecko, the Lizard. And before I go into this, I really just gotta state that Pursuit, Iron Tail and Outrage are not exclusive to Superior. And Sceptile does get it too. Though I do believe the likes of Pursuit is definitely stronger or superior. With that said, we're gonna talk about freaking Sceptile because it has a plethora of moves to be capitalized on that are all are really interesting depending on how I wanna view it. Now, first and foremost, of course, it gets dual shop. Yeah, we have agility on the setup here, we're gonna capitalize on that. Do not do that. We have X Sister, we have actually quick attack, so we get that. Priority, always nice. We have Earthquake, which is very important to be able to capitalize on dealing with poison type. Very surprised that um, Superior does lack this because it's a very, very fundamental move for a lot of situation. Uh, we also have Focus Blast, which also at the same time here, looking at the special side here, massive hits from Sceptile against Steel type, which is a major issue for Superior. So being able to capitalize on Focus Blast, really, really good, very strong, definitely needed to be able to, of course, be offensively active all the time. We have actually have Acrobatics here also. Acrobatics could be capitalized with Unburden to be able to, to go for massive amount of damage. Outside of that, we have Filler Moves in Crunch. We have Endeavor if you want to capitalize on that. We have Bullet Seed if you want to go with that instead of Leaf Blade. And when it comes to previous generations tutor moves, we have Thunder Punch and um, what I would say the more interesting one being Focus Punch. The reason I mentioned that is because now with C moves in mind, this becomes really, really dangerous, really fast. And uh, one really interesting aspect is, of course, the Sceptile does get Power Up Punch if you want to capitalize on that. But as a whole here, Sceptile has a more diverse move pool, and it really, really does shine here as being a Pokemon of many, many niches and traits. So it all becomes a question of whether or not these niches and traits are enough to stand against the superior superior. So if I really were looking upon these two Pokemon as critically as I can, I really just gotta state that, you know, until of course Contrary was introduced, it was very clear that Sceptile was better between these two. It had a stronger niche plays, they have similar move pools in general, and they did similar, similar things. It was very clear that due to Sceptile's extra special attack that it was more dangerous turn one. And it always have been the speeder between these two, which means that it always has its viability pretty much really high. And of course, with the Focus Blast in mind, it could deal with what I would consider its major flaws and issues that actually have been forced to be dealing with, mainly and primarily Steel types that just wall this set really nicely. Now, that said, once Contra was introduced, it was no question that Superior with one set only was Superior to Sceptile on that essence. It was, while slower, it could offensively shake more Pokemons by actually one turn. So it comes down to whether or not if that is enough to solve the riddle that is which one of these two are really better. And in my honest opinion, the more critically I look at it, the more I gotta say it. I think Sceptile here is better. And it has more to do with what Sceptile is turn 1 and what Sceptile can do outside of one functional set. I can reward Superior all the time of how incredible that Leafstorm set is, but what it all boils down to is that we only have one workable set here, and between these two, I would say Superior is inferior, because Sceptile has more move pools to capitalize on, has more niches, and not only that, with now its C moves in mind, it are not forced to be able to capitalize on its hidden ability, it can actually go for the overgrow and actually make sure that it's lowered enough health to leave from actually start hurting a whole lot. Focus Blast here with C-Move activated, it's pretty darn scary. We also have the, you know, the C-Move in combination with Earthquake, which is also just as scary. Sceptile as a setup sweeper is very, very ferocious. Once Sword stands and you get the Unburden activated, things get damaged a lot. Um, I do believe Sceptile, due to not having more diverse sets or, or possible sweeping set, is the reason it's being held back by other Pokemon as a whole. But if we compare these two, Superior with only one functional set, I do believe in my opinion, that is not enough to reward a Pokemon to be, well, outmatching the other because it's very clear that Sceptile has more to offer a team. Superior, superb sweeper, and definitely one of the best setup sweepers in the game due to the Leafstorm combination. But with, when that's all you have, 
Should I really reward that? No, I should not. I should reward the Pokemon that are able to do much, much more. And Sceptile is just that. It is an incredible gecko. And that is why he wins this matchup. So with that said, guys, what do you guys think? I really want to hear what you guys have been debating here because a lot of people on Twitter at least have definitely pointed out that this is a useless matchup because Superior is always going to be the better here. And I wasn't so sure when I was starting off and as I actually was reviewed them, I really felt that, you know, we, we only talking about one thing that it does really, really good. And I really can't just reward that for one set. Septal is so incredible in so many ways. And uh, I really like Superior as a whole though, but I definitely believe it's a forgotten gem due to the contrary. It's, all his niches are forgotten. It only has one functional set and Septal can be so much more. So with that, guys, thank you as of course as always for watching and I'll see you next video when we're gonna look upon these guys.